Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Loop Hero. We have a very important resource bottleneck that we clearly need to uh, we need to tackle. Uh, so, in order to get the river card, we need more of this resource here. What is it called? Uh, Orb of Expansion. Fights with more than four enemies is what we need to work on. Uh, in order to do that, I don't really want to grind that on Act 3, and we have more resources we can get out of uh, this boss fight anyways. That being said, I don't know if we're even going to do the boss fight. Like, it's only going to be if we're feeling very exceptionally strong uh, are we going to actually bother to attack this boss fight. So, but... What do we want to do? I'm gonna click the wrong. I mean, honestly, let's do it. Let, let's go old school there. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. We gotta get this village here. I do think we want that. Uh, I think we're gonna want. Do we want the blood grove? I mean, I kind of. You know what? I kind of want to bring in the forest too. I suppose we could. I, I guess we could. Dilutes things like a little bit, but we've never tried that out. We've never tried to bring three of these. Uh, I say no to the battlefield, yes to the spider cocoon, yes to... I mean, we could just bring the wheat fields and we'd be all good up here. Uh, it doesn't sound too bad. Uh, do we have the vampire mansion? We do have the vampire mansion. So I think vampire mansion, spider cocoon is going to be something that we may want to work with here. Uh, we could go for the outpost, I suppose. If we go, if we have the forest already, we could bling, bling, bling upon <laughs> the blood grove could do that uh if we're not gonna be bringing the desert i don't think he's gonna be quite so deadly in addition it's it's good for the boss fight if we do end up going for that uh let's see beacon temple temporal uh, you know what let's finally we'll switch it into the arsenal i'm gonna say i'm gonna say no treasury for now uh, i don't think we need that as much we're, we're actually pretty pretty well off with a lot of the resources you get from this uh, and just not having it means i really get to have a little bit more freedom with what I want to put down in the area around everything. Uh, temporal Beacon. I, I want this if we're going to be bringing the meadow. So we can try and put that down for the final uh, for the boss fight if we do want to go that route. Uh, with the same thing in mind. I'm going to bring down the I'm going to bring the beacon too for the for the boss fight purposes. I think this all looks pretty good. We're at 11 out of 15. I feel like we can work with that. We're going to yeah, be using the uh, the old warrior on chapter 2 here. Hopefully we can have a good time. I'm uh, I'm excited to see what. Okay, so arsenal. We don't need to bother with putting this stuff here, but is that something we want to do anyways? So spiders. Spiders. I think we're gonna want to put here, here and here. Like I think we want to do it in a way where we can uh, have all of the spiders that are going to spawn will spawn in one spot. So, with this all in mind, where the hell do I put this so that I don't ruin things? I feel like that's fine. Okay, so, yeah, and we're going, uh, we're looping around this direction. We've got ourselves a helmet as well. I think we're going to want to kind of go for... Uh, region might be a good idea so here's our vampire mansion let's just uh let's slap this bad boy down already you know what let's sure we'll slap down now it shouldn't be that big of a deal I'm gonna try and go a little silly crazy with the old regen beacon i suppose we could put it down already uh to do this here sure there's that. So we're going around in this direction. If we want to go around in that direction, it might be in our best interest to do that. So we've got our thicket as well. Uh, if we put this here, then we can put the blood grove right down there. We could, got this meadow. I guess we could put this. We don't have the... Um, we did not bring in the chrono crystals. Which is a really good thing to use with the uh, the good old meadow, of course. I, I kind of, you know, I, I'm kind of regretting not bringing that there. A blood grove already. We take those. We take those. Wheat, take those. Vampirism. I, I do want to turn on. Where was it? Uh, hovering over items. Good stuff. Okay, we got a couple rocks. Back at it again with the uh, having to min-max this. So if we're going to do it right here, we do want it kind of like that, I think. All right, good stuff. 
Good stuff. Max HP. We good. We good with what we got. Uh, but yeah, regen. We've got our, of course, our attack speed and everything. Pretty darn set here. Let's avoid this pretty much entirely. We just want to make sure these are down in a spot where we can uh, basically surround them with the meadows effectively. Bonus points if we have them in a spot where it's going to be easy to kind of like process <laughs> uh, how many we're at for the village. The village? Question mark. <laughs> Space, you know, we're going to want to keep that in mind. All right. So far, so fine. It's going to be kind of fun to see uh, what the, everything looks like here with uh, two beacons, really. Do we really want that many beacons? Like, not really. Going to put down basic rocks in that corridor there. Max HP up. I mean, this is a big yes for me, of course. Meadow. Regen of eight. Oh, we only have one ring slot. That's right. Regen and evasion. Sure. Sounds good. Sounds good. There's our spider. Damage, defense, vampirism. Of course, we're going to be going for that. Uh, once again, I don't want to just... I don't know that, like, do we do we want to increase the movement speed and attack speed in these radii? I don't know, man. Uh, theoretically, you would want to if you're going to be doing, like, a lot more damage than they are. Uh, that's going to be good enough. Well, I guess we could do it here because then we could put down another vampire mansion there, I guess, if we wanted to. Think. All right. Do we do it? <laughs> do, do we just do it right away? Do we ransack this village? I think we ransack this village, actually. I think that's what we do. All right. We're pretty close to getting the uh, the village, question mark. God, I, I wish it was a little bit cleaner, you know? I, I don't know what to call it. Village? Because it's... Semi, it's a sem semi a village, 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 adjacent, village, adjacent. I don't know what the hell to call it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, next one. All right. Attack speed evasion, defense. I mean, this is a big upgrade. Attack speed, evasion. I mean, we're going to be fine there. Uh, the good news is defense is increased by one after every loop. Sure. It's just, it's so early. Oh, God, I thought that was a thicket. It's so early that we should be fine. Uh, and the reason I was fine with, yeah, putting this stuff here is because, I mean, we should be A-OK -okay to handle them uh, with the help of our friends. Got a wheat field. We got our meadows. Got a blood grove. Where would we want to put a blood grove at this point, though? Not sure. We are certainly going to be spawning some harpies. We have the, uh, oh, yeah, we have the other guys to worry about as well. Uh, okay, thicket. The, uh, whatchamacallit, the goblins. Goblins. We do have overwhelm, or not overwhelm, over, uh, but oblivion in our deck. There we go. We'll get there. We'll get there. Did we take out the ruins? I might have taken out the ruins. What would we want to blood grove? Also, is this stack? It doesn't need to stack. So we have the attack speed, and now we have the uh, the time up as well. Good stuff. 
So if we fight somebody here, there'll be a watcher. That's okay. All right. Well, we'll we're, we're trying to walk through there. No worries. Okay. So far, so fine. But, you know, we're actually, like, shockingly far along. What the heck? Okay, so here's five... There's five enemies here. Is this Living Fabric? Orb of Evolution? Is that... Was that the one? I think that was the one. Also, here comes... Some goblins. Not the best. This actually looks... This looks really nice over here. I actually... I, visually, I'm quite a fan of... Uh, Ooh, count, counter and regen. Sure. I mean, I should, probably should have the evasion and rege regen. I think that would probably be better off. Uh, but yeah, we've got one of these. We need ten to get the upgrade. It's, uh, it's a long time coming here. But maybe we can make it happen, Captain. I'd love an oblivion. Absolutely would love it. Yeah, this looks so nice over here. I really like that. Oh, man, it's so cute. Too cute, five me. So this should give an orb of evolution, or, or theoretically should have a chance to give the, the fabric as well. I mean, for now, right? We did not, we did not get any. <laughs> we got, we got none. Sucks to suck, I guess. Oh well. That's going to go away very, very shortly. We're not going to even have anything in that category right there. Retaliation damage hugely up there. Get magic damage up instead. I don't know. I feel like retaliation's okay. Did we get a quad of these dang spiders? It's end evasion up short. Well, okay. So, when he... Sp if he spawns this guy... Okay, so we have a chance. We should have a chance to get what we want here. We did not get what we wanted. Stun the first unit. Sounds kind of nice. There's our big old Mooten. Moontan. I mean, we could... Eh. I think we just set it up here. Yeah, there's that. There's that, of course, of course, of course. No big deal. I don't know, we're... We're in for a bad time. Like, right now. Against these goblins. I'm not looking, not looking forward to this fight. It's gonna be uh, to the point where we could die. We could actually legit big die. What is that? Is that us? Uh, it's that uh, that move that the bats have that make it so we don't actually get to do nothing. Okay. It's only three. That helps. Attack speed, regen's the same, evasion. I like that way better. All right. Oh! I said, yeah, we lucked out. We lucked out. That was a... The fact that we got the stun, I mean, it's not super uncommon. But still, I'd say we lucked out on that. And the fact that we uh, we got three before that. That guy didn't spawn. And even if he did, <laughs> would have joined, I guess he was going up to the, uh, the left there anyways. It's not too bad. So this is going to turn into the council lands now? I'm not worried about this fight, though. I'm, wor I'm kind of worried about that uh, that harpy fight, I guess. If anything. Some coral beacon, another village. 
Okay, I'm not worried about nothing no more. I ain't worried about nothing no more. We're gonna put these rocks in the corners. Temporal beacon. Let's overload the fight. Oh god, we added an elite to it. That's not great. Oh, speaking of not great, this isn't either. Do you have the... Yeah, you do have the steel. Brigand, rather. He's actually not too bad. We're doing just fine there. It's a little gross, but the harpy's not that bad. There's four units here. There's our oblivion. We found our wonderful, wonderful oblivion. Not stacking them properly anyways it'd be a different story if they did if it was but they're not okay what the hell dude can i please get one of my reasons like i got one this whole time wait we got an entire orb we got two entire orbs of expansion oh i was mistaken it's not evolution it was a different e word okay so we have two of them all right okay 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 this is big news this is big news okay all right all right this will not be that bad after all this is big news wonderful news this might be a kind of annoying fight yeah it is Oh, it's really annoying. Oh, boy. Boy, howdy. It's Omega annoying. Okay. Spider Central. Hoping we get a lot of these, uh, these meadow, or not meadows, what? These, uh, these stuns. Yeah, I, I know we're doing this in a weird way, so we have a chance to get the Orb of Expansion here. If he summons, right? Yeah. He's got to do the summon for us to have a chance. And even if he does the summon, I don't know if we have it. I don't know if it works quite like that or not. Uh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's going to be bad. Okay. Pretty substantial defense. What is this? Orb of Afterlife. I do actually not remember what that one even is. Alright, I've got concerns. Oh, what a... I'm so glad we actually get the stun there. If we don't get the stun there, we actually... We got some problems. Two orbs. We did not get another orb. We did we just got another orb? Hey! Really? I thought we just spawned one. Oh no, we didn't just spawn one. That was never mind. That was the other thing. Um. I mean, I kind of hate it, but it's also like gonna be fine. What is this? Damage to all, attack speed evasion. It's certainly worth it. Upgrade. Fine, we're fine. Okay. <laughs> Is it possible to put a. Okay, so we could. Blood. We could blood grove that if we get another force, which I guess we should be able to do, I guess. Game shall counter. Thank goodness for that day swapping over there. That helps. Game shall evasion. Couple stray goblins. Not gonna be too big of a deal. 
Uh, your regen is doubled. Yes. Yes. We're going to be working towards getting that. Should be fine. Getting a lot of, uh, working towards getting a lot of regen. That's fine. I just realized, we, we, we accidentally checkerboarded that up there. That's stun. It, it doesn't seem like it'd be that big of a deal, but it's really useful. Like, it's so useful. Uh, it's got regen, vampirism, attack speed, damage. All, it kind of has everything that I sort of want. Oh, nice. We got him before he could attack the sucker. Okay. Nothing stolen. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Oh, this is going so well. Defense, damage to all, more defense, vampirism. Ah, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. And the fact that we're getting uh, defense on every loop, too. Ooh, we should put the force here. All right, please live. Okay, we got the stun. That helps. Okay, we're going to be fine. Uh, Huge regen up. That's just good all around. I think we're actually going to be totally fine. Dang, we're strong. We're, like, really strong. Holy. We're very, very, very strong. Yeah, we'll be okay. Spawn bat, thank you. Did not get any of that one resource. It's okay. Didn't really expect it. Since we're out of those corner spots. Yeah. Spider cocoon. Doesn't make a ton of sense, but hey, we can make it work. We actually have another vampire mansion, so we could have uh Put it somewhere else. Another village. This is oh, it's the spider apocalypse for sure up here. Oh my god. They're afraid of vampires. So there's no reason not to do this. Because we just get to the days move faster, which we kind of like, which means more regen, which also means more, uh, more spiders. So it's, it's strictly just, it's strictly beneficial. Oh, we got another one of the resources, too. Things are coming up, Rita McGee. Awesome. All right, that works really well because they're not going to show the time lords aren't going to show up anyways. No summon no bats. There's the bat. And we got another one. It's oh, it's a freaking dream. Another temporal beacon. Do they stack? I think they do. But they, they, yeah, more days means more likely that we do get these uh, these max capacity ones, which means more of the yet another resource there. We might actually get a uh, the river based off of today. Oh my god. Oh, shoot. I don't know that that's good for us, really. Uh, 
I don't know. I, I wasn't really wanting to fight yet. Huh. We'll probably end up, uh... Sure. We'll probably end up l not leaving for the first time. But yeah, we have six of the orbs, just like that. Pretty substantial. Pretty peasy. We want as many meadows as possible. Get another, t another uh, temporal beacon, that would be nice. Yeah, these guys are semi-annoying for sure. die to this boss because I, I want to keep on going through this loop because I think we can actually get all of the things we need they stack up to 20 all right I ain't too worried about you Big upgrade. That's straight up an upgrade as well. All right. We got there. Itty bitty amount of regen. I think I'll take the attack speed. But yeah, we're 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 cruising, really. It's blitz paced. Blitz paced. I guess the things that we were placing down just in general were really effective at pushing the bar along. That or this this two rank one is like really easy. One of the two. Like compared to what I thought it was. I thought it was uh, noticeably a bigger jump up from the first, but I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. Oh, okay. I guess we're fighting the boss. I guess we're fighting the boss. I was not actually... I was not actually guaranteed going to do it, so... Uh-oh. Could you please stop? I refuse to arms. This sucks. This sucks. I think we might actually die. You don't do very good damage. Hmm. This sucks. We've got to revive. We might just base, just barely out pace that. We have the potions. We have a revive. We might just barely do it. Oh my god. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me here? Really? I mean, there's nothing we can do. I just thought that, uh, I thought that it was a thing that the bosses do to, like, I thought that you always got the pause, you know? Oh, did we evade? Wait, what's this? Regen double! Okay, that helps. That helps. We actually, I think that means we will do it. We do have a revive. I want to make that clear as well. Like, we actually will be fine because of the, uh... Oh, my God. It was, it was terrifying. And a failure again. Till we meet again, zealot! Chance that enemies will have one ability less upon each building. Hero gets eight times loop experience. Sure. 
Oh, God. Okay. Well, this is the first time we're doing this. I'm happy that we did that at the, at the very least. We're good, solid, done. Good. Good, got it, good. Okay. This is a bad idea, isn't it? Oh, there's a Time Lord here. Hello. Hello, jerk. We are actually just, like, healing, though. Which is pretty fun. We're healing off of being in fights. Which is super weird, and I love it. I don't know that we're going to heal off of being in all fights, though. Okay. There's another forest. Yeah. We're actually doing fine. We, we also, I got to remember, we also didn't die. And also, we get the bo boost to regen when we're low on HP. We might run after this loop here. So yeah, we got another one. So we should get quite a bit, I would think. And we're really like, we're shredding this stuff. This is not, currently not a problem. Currently not a problem. Uh, we have 18% counterattack? Okay. Feel a little weird about it, but I think it'll be good. Oh yeah, okay. So we healed twelve. We yeah, we're actually we're gaining HP in a lot of these fights with this many people too. That's crazy. That is crazy that we're actually gaining HP in these fights. That shows that what we're doing is pretty darn preposterous and honestly might even hold up in the next loop. Okay. I'll keep the counter for now. Boy. Oh. It's so neat looking. I like our map. Like visually it's looking really cool. Bubba. All right, so yeah, if you needed help getting this resource, this right here, this is how. 100%. I like should I try and do yet another loop? Cuz we weren't even at full HP at the start of this one, you know? Vampires. Just don't like that it's. I guess we'll find out. More meadows. More meadow. More thicket. I mean, what could possibly go wrong, man? Mm -hmm. Alright, we're, we're losing HP here. 
We're actually, we're actually losing HP here. Abnormal. Awesome. Yeah, the fact that the vampires scare away those guys, it's like, this is working so, so well. I like that a little bit better, just a, just barely, because we do get the healing off of the counter, so. I wouldn't go as far as to say, like, it's a no-brainer good good bit pick up there, so. Goodbye is what I was going to say. Uh. Tickets. What are we, Oblivion? I don't care about this. Because clearly they're not entering there. Ditch that. Well, all right. Yeah, I think we. Uh, I think we leave after this loop. But we have 14 of the orbs. Even if we die at this point, which I don't think we will. But even if we did, first of all, also. We should, uh... If we're gonna... Uh, this is our final loop, I think, so... If I'm being a good boy, I think this will be our final loop. Okay. Fourteen of those. Awesome. We're not really getting meadows. Oop. Oh man, if I would have just left after that, after we finally found our cheese, our method. Yeah, these guys are no joke for us. Oh, awesome. Oh god, we might actually die. Four of them is a problem. Oh, it's bad. It's no good. Like, we're, I think we, yeah, we obviously live that. Okay, well, that's... That's worth the, the sacrifice there, I'd say. Okay, this is... Oh, God, this is... This is, uh... This is bad. I mean, it makes sense that there's so many spawning because we have so many things that are increasing... Oh, we could, I guess... That kills those units, basically. That's kind of nice. I suppose, I suppose. And we do have all the healing. These guys do not have the ability to scare away others at this point, I guess. Okay. All right. This is concerning, to say the least. But they do AoE damage, so actually that's its not even really that bad. Like, even this is going just fine. Okay. And we ended up getting an orb of evolution as well, which I can't remember what that is even for. All right, yeah, we're, we're totally done after this loop right here, though. Could we go through again and farm more? Yeah, but it'd be the difference. It would get us up to 20, but we can just do this again? We can just kind of do this, but on uh, Act 3 and see how that goes. I don't think there's any point in oblivioning anything. Stop. No. Oh. Oh, what are you Okay. Good stuff, though. This is proven to be, like, yeah, weirdly, weirdly easy. 
The boss fight was a little sketchy. Oh my god, look at the spider apocalypse. I don't think we get resources for that. We might get resources for this. We do not. What about that? Yep. Alright. Oh my god. Oh, that was so close. Oh, that was close. We would have had to do an entire extra loop, and we kind of janked it up. Oh, that feels amazing. Oh, Lord. This is good. So it has to go here. Always been here. I can't believe it. Uh, I have a whole river of questions about this thing. Do you mean uh, an ocean of questions? There's no more ocean in the world. River's the standard for a big body of water now. How do we even remember the ocean? Just think, all this water is coming from nowhere. It goes nowhere, too. It's the same water circling around, or is it something constantly creating new matter? I got no idea. Do you want to see if it's good for swimming? Of course. So what does this do? It just, uh, it, okay, it just straight up unlocks the river card. I mean, that's really, really useful, uh, right? Doubles the effect of adjacent landscape tiles. That is nice. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I believe it has synergies as well. Uh, but theoretically, that could let you, like, mono place a card. You could do river desert. Or, uh, oops, uh, river... You could do river forest. And just spam exclusively attack speed without having another card there. That's really interesting. Or, you know, of course, river meadow do something we could literally do what we did today It'd be kind of fun to rock four whole different types of lands there but that is so oh that's so exciting to finally have that card that is uh i've been told it's game changing ability to prolong the river under a road during an expedition can only be built on horizontal and vertical river tiles cool uh, another lumberjack if we wanted it. Uh, another mud hut if we wanted it. Let's see what else. So this we could build another forest. Why would we do that? I guess for the lumberjack. Why would we build another one of these? I guess because we could get more of those resources. Uh, yeah, the bridge seems fine. Warehouse, sure. Uh, what about, I think there's a card for, wait, what's the library? What does the library need? Okay. Uh, just a couple more of these. A lot of, a lot of more rocks and sticks. Fair enough. We, uh, we spam used all of ours to make the mud huts. They're really not that hard to get, though. Uh, I'm, I guess I'm kind of surprised at how few rocks we got from that there. Reserved rocks. Uh, rocks and mountains. Treasury. I guess that's probably why. Drops from some enemies. So what is this predominantly used for? Uh, it doesn't really say. Or, or this one. Huh. I guess we, we need it for forests. But does that really matter? I don't know. What does it take to upgrade this? We get a card. Uh, so it takes... Okay. Not... Uh, it's also not too bad. Now that I understand how easy it is to... Like, it's a guarantee you get an entire orb. I thought you just got, like, a fragment. You actually literally just get an entire orb when you do that there. That That is so much easier to, uh, to get than I had anticipated. We have so many orbs in the afterlife, too. What is that for? Probably, like, the cemetery? Gymnasium, the refuge, the smelter. Why are these so much louder than the other parts of the game? Farm! The graveyard. There's a cemetery. That probably needs orbs of the afterlife. It does indeed. Bonus HP after revival. That seems like a really useful upgrade as well. Hee-yah! So this takes one of those. Ten... Ah. I just don't, I don't really care about that. It's basically, do I want to build a mud hut or not? We could save our resources. Like, do we have anything really cool that we really want to put on? I mean, damage done to bosses. I definitely... Bonus regen if you already have it. I do like those, but we could also just remove some of these other things. 
Uh, bonus to heal, potions healing power. Base HP for every food item placed in your camp. Plus one defense. That all sounds pretty good to me. All right. Well, that is that. Road Lantern or a beacon. Oh. It's kind of nice. When it says effects don't stack, though, my question is... Can we... Well, do we... If we have more brass candlesticks... Does that effect stack, or is it saying that the uh, the effect of the brass candlestick doesn't stack if you have more than one brass candlestick, or does it say is it saying you don't get more than five percent from multiple beacons? Because that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, but I would imagine that you could probably like if you had it's five percent, but you could probably get to this point where you have like twenty of these. Right? Yeah, you could get to the point where you have, like, 20 of these, I guess. Like, in theory, that 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 is a reality that could happen. So you could get 100% 100 ex 100 extra damage when you're in the range of a Road Lantern or Beacon. These are all, like, these all seem really small. To an extent, they are. But we do 12% extra damage to bosses. Because of this. Like, that's really nothing to scoff at. 12% extra damage to bosses is really good uh i'm liking our camp it's starting to look pretty good here it's starting to look pretty good indeed but alas that is that and that is going to do it for today very effective farming session and very cool uh very 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 cool super happy to have the river unlocked there's obviously a, a couple extra cards yet to unlock we're missing a golden card as well uh i don't know we'll, we'll have to figure out what to do with the river here but i've been told that it's like one of the best cards in the game uh and I, I guess I can already see why, you know? It, it, effectively, it lets you do more of what you... Get more of what you wanted. Um, so that's pretty neat. But, I, yeah, I've been informed. I don't know what they are. I don't know how to get them, and I don't know what they do. But I've been informed that there's synergies with it. I imagine with the other tiles here. I'm not sure, though. That is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day. Make sure to hit the like button on these videos as you watch them, especially if you watch them all the way to the end. You probably like them at least a little bit, you know, right? Right? You'd think so. So thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.